Today we have a slew full of animal companions that are looking for eggs at this time of the year. This is called Possum Festival, which is located in Windscorn Savannah. So let's take a look at it. So let's check the map and see exactly what's going on then. If you look on the map right here, Windscorn Savannah is in peace for 15 days and 10 hours and it's located in Skyfang. So with that said, let's go to Skyfang. By now you should have had uh, a teleporter to Windscorn Savannah in Skyfang or at least all the teleports by now but if not make sure you um, just run to Skyfang or use one of the traffic means to get to Skyfang. The festival is basically all about adoption so we're gonna check out it and see exactly what we can adopt. Once in Skyfang look for a festival keeper called Ali. Take a quest and she'll tell you to talk to Narimdale. Follow the quest indicator Once you've reached and talked to Narimdale, take the quest, you'll get a couple of coins and experience. After that, he'll give you another quest, which is to take care of a frail pet. You'll also get possum coins, which can be exchanged, but we'll talk about that a little later. The quest is pretty simple and straightforward. Go to this uh, hut right here and you'll see these frail pets you have from elk to bunnies to two kitties on the side. These kids, kitties are trolling me right now, but you just need to take one of the young um, orange tabby uh, house pet, talk back to Narimba and the quest is halfway done uh, you need to take care of the pet they give you a young animal tonic which if you uh, just raise it like a normal pet that like an elk or um, a horse you can basically find the pet in your inventory slot you just right click on it and drop it somewhere that you can and the pet will drop down on the floor and you just raise it like a normal pet um, just press F at certain given points. You don't need water or food or anything like that. You'll basically just take care of it uh, for the duration until it's happy. It will jump back into your inventory box. Look at my nice dance moves. Once you finish, you'll get an indicator saying that you finished the quest. Uh, talk to them and you'll get three uh, possum coins plus a young orange tabby house pet, which goes into your inventory. And that's your, your, um, your reward. That's it. Now you have other, other quests that you can gain coin. Talk to Ranch Hand Jack. At any time during the festival, just listen to his story of his cow ownership. And during so, you'll get three tokens. And if this is a once quest, so you only can do this one time and one time only. You can find um, Ranch Hand Jack around this red circle. He is always walking around in a circle with his lovable or adorable cow. <laughs> There's an also another person that comes out, but he comes out on a um, specific time schedule. His name is Tarek. Will be available for about an hour and looking for able-bodied adventurers. Speak to him and you'll be able to carry a lost elk or a yada on your back and return them to their family. Doing so will earn you two possum festival tokens and you can repeat this about three times per day. Now let's talk about some rewards. So having the tokens is good and all, but if you don't have the uh, necessary amount, you can't get any prizes. With 70 tokens, you can get a pet leash. The pet leash, if used, will turn your furry friend 
into an actual pet that follows you around instead of uh, just be sitting in your house. With 20 tokens, you get a tufted pet tower, which is just furniture for your pet. With 20 tokens, you can get a cozy pet bed, a playful pet cushion, a wooden pet bed, a Beastmaster token, which gives you the title of Beastmaster, and an animal friendly pitcher crate, which gives you a pop out of the sorted animals that they have. Thanks guys for watching my video. Make sure you drop a thumbs up or thumbs down. Um, if you can't decide between a thumbs up or thumbs down, you can always write me a message in the comments down below. I'll always reply as quick as possible.